channel my name is Jasmine what this video is gonna be as you can tell from the title it's just a prep week vlog um, we are going to New Orleans on Saturday we fly out Saturday and we come back Wednesday for Mardi Gras so this video is literally just going to be me pretty much prepping for our trip um, so that concludes like my pedicure, my hair appointment, my nail appointment, packing, packing up the dogs, cleaning the house, doing laundry, just regular stuff that I have to do in order to go out of town. So since we'll be going for like five days, we'll be going for a few days. So we'll have to like prep the house, get the cat stuff ready, get the dogs ready. The dogs are going to the border. I'm going to prep the dogs travel bags. That's the plan for today. So let's just get started. These are the two things he's been playing with lately, so I'm just gonna stick them in here. And for now, they are packed. They are packed and ready to go. So on Saturday when we drop them off. They have everything they need. And that way we don't have to carry in separate bags and a whole bunch of little stuff. So these are on Amazon. I'll link them. Uh, if you are a dog owner, these come in handy. So I'm packing right now. Like I'm literally in the middle of packing. But I don't have a list. I don't think I have a list prepared. So, actually, I do. I cannot pack without a list because my brain is too scattered. If I'm just out here free balling packing, I get flustered. I'm going to forget stuff or I'm going to overpack. So, I have to literally write down what I have to pack. Um... Yeah, I have to write down what I have to pack so that I can actually pack it. Because if I don't write it down, it's a turn to a shit show. Like, I'll just be packing anything. Just throw it in there. Oh, I need that. Or I'm going to forget stuff because it's not. If I can't see it, it's out of sight, out of mind. Okay, I'm going to start with my toiletries because they're pretty much already packed. They stay in the bag. My, toilet, my travel toiletries stay in the travel bag. So I'm probably just going to start with that and make sure that everything is filled up. Damn. Oh, this is for my feet for the one day that I might wear heels. Um, I'm gonna pack my makeup. So I'm all done packing my clothes. The dogs are packed up. Uh, I washed some clothes. So I only have a few more things to pack. And then, it's out the way. Whoa, real quick. Okay. I only have a few more things to pack and then I just have like maintenance thing, hair, nails, all that stuff. So I'll meet back up with y'all when we do that. I'm getting ready to go get my feet done and then I'm going to go to the mall and see if I can find a dress to wear tonight because Hayson's taking me on a date tonight and I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to find to find a dress and some shoes um, to wear tonight to dinner so um i did my hair i'm getting ready to go out now um i'm hungry too so i need to stop and grab something to eat i don't know what i'm about to eat yet but i'm gonna stop and grab something to eat while i'm out let's go
so I found a dress. The I tried to show the dress, but my camera was acting up. The lens wouldn't come out, so it does that every now and then when I'm using it a lot, it gets stuck. But anyways, so I found a dress. Ooh, I'm about to get hit. I found a dress and I'll show you when I get home. I found shoes. It took me forever to find. I'm not really sold on the boots. I found a pair of boots, but I'm really not sold on them to be honest. Like, I'm just not sold. The color is the color that I needed, but the shoe is just not, it's not hitting. So I'm going to be upset with this outfit. Like, I'm not going to be completely happy because the shoes, the shoe is giving everyday boots like a little bit so i'm not a big like it, the shoe was comfortable too like it was very squishy when i put my foot in there very nice but it's just still not it's not giving me exactly what i wanted but i'm on the timeline i don't know why i waited until the day of to try to find an outfit for dinner tonight don't know probably should have went to south park probably didn't have more luck at south park but anyways so i'm vlogging on my phone but I'm at breakfast. I'm at first watch. Um, my family got moved back a couple hours because she's running a little behind. So I decided to stop and get something to eat. Um, but I have a scarf on because I'm getting my hair braided today. But um, so I'm just here having some coffee and waiting for my breakfast to come out. So. All right, y'all, so I just got my hair braided. I got a small knotless. They are really small, but they look really good. So the hair is done, thankfully, and it'll stay done. It doesn't hurt, but she did, she was gripping, she was gripping my hair. And just a little context, I just like cut off all my hair like two days ago. I was so tired of the damage and the color, the colored ends were so damaged. I was so tired of it. So I just cut off my hair and she was still able to braid it up. So it's super short now, but she was still able to braid it up, which is great. My hair looks great. It feels good. The braids are really small. But it still looks and feels really good, so I'm really happy about it. And on top of that, the brace is under 200. The small knot list was under 200 because these girlies out here be charging $300 for some braids. Nope, just under $200 for small knot list braids. So yeah, and they look good. And she provided hair. She don't wash hair, but she did provide the hair, so. But, um, yeah, that's done. I feel good. I was a little anxious because I wasn't sure if I had cut too much of my hair off and she wasn't going to be able to braid it. If she wasn't going to be able to braid it, woo, I don't know what I would have did. I don't even know what would have happened if she wasn't able to braid it. But she was, so my anxiety has been calmed down, silenced wonderful and then tomorrow i go get my nails done and have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and then tyson's best friend comes down will be come she'll be here tomorrow and then we'll fly i'll fly out on saturday so yeah that's what we're doing i'm on the way home now so that's what i'm doing curtis wainwright took the stand. And at first, Severs gave off the impression of not having a care in the world, smiling and cracking jokes with his lawyer. But that would quickly change. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give? Right. The court
recall that would be the turning point in the case, came into the Lee County Sheriff's Office late at night, some two weeks after the murder of Dr. Teresa Sievers. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Seriously. The tip came from a family friend of a man. So, I got my hair done. I got my nails done today. So right now what I'm doing is body waxing. Um, I don't do like my own Brazilian, but I do definitely my own underarms. If I have any cleanup I want to do down there or um, like the stash, any unwanted facial hair. So right now I'm doing my underarms. This is pre rax treatment. I got my kit off of Amazon. So my pot is over here. My pot and my beads. I think the only reason why I started doing this is because I always get my face waxed, but when we moved, I didn't really have an esthetician to go to anymore, like I did in York. And I, I got sensitive skin, so I don't trust everybody with my skin. So I see a lot of girls on TikTok were doing it themselves because of COVID, not being able to go. I was like, I could do that myself. Sometimes it's hard to get it started. I gotta say, this lasts way longer than shaving. And when the hair grow back, it's not coarse and prickly. Even like you shave one day and the next day your underarms be prickly. Nope, not with this. Not with waxing. It's not prickly. It's soft. Half time, I can't even tell that it needs to be rewaxed because it's. I forgot I had to go this way. Because the hair is so soft. Still a little bit. Little short tiny hairs but that's fine and then got an after wax treatment that was supposed to go on my underarms i need another paper towel, paper towel. is a lot thicker like an oil. I can't say that it's lightened my underarms because shaving makes my underarms real dark. But it definitely lightens my underarms. It's quick. It doesn't hurt as much as it did the first time. The very first time, oh my God. And then whatever's left, I could just get off in the shower. Okay, so. Nails are done, hair is done. But they look great, I love them. Tyson's getting hers done, my nails are done, my toes are done, I'm all waxed. 
And look. I'm packed too. I'm packed. We leave tomorrow. So I'm packed. The dogs are at the borders. Um, I have my reservation for the car to park, to be parked. Um, I know what I'm wearing tomorrow. And I think, for real, for real, I think I'm about done. I just have a doctor's appointment today. So, that concludes the end of this video. Uh, stay tuned for all of our Mardi Gras festivities. <laughs>